Jesus, you died upon a cross and rose again to save the lost. Hello, everyone. This is Aaron, and I'm reporting on the good news of God's Word. And I'm here with, oh, this guy. What is your name, sir? Mike. Mike, I have a test for you. Uh, I took it this morning, and I did fabulous. Oh, it's, I have three questions to ask you. Um, are you ready? Okay, sure. Okay. So, what is my favorite candy bar? Uh, Reese's? Reese's. Wrong. Okay, what did I, the first thing I did when I woke up this morning? You went to the bathroom. Wrong again. What did I have for breakfast this morning? An omelet. You did terribly. Mike, why did I do so good and you do so poorly? Uh, because you know about yourself? Exactly. Well, who do you think is the best person to teach us about God? Well, God is, of course, right? Yeah. Well, thank you, Mike. Thanks. God bless you. So for the next four weeks, we are going to hear from Jesus himself. When he was about 30 years old, he began to teach the people all about God. Huge crowds came from all over. They came to listen to him teach. Today we'll hear three things that Jesus taught the people. There will be three clues hidden all around for us to find. And when we find them, Jesus is going to come and be our teacher and teach just as he taught the people. But you know, perhaps you know this. God is not the same as you and I. He alone is all-powerful, all-loving. He has power and glory. He created the world, the universe, and the people. Wow! The one true God, creator of all things, he wants you to know him. He made himself known to you and to I through Jesus Christ. Say this with me. I can know God. I can know God. You can know the one true God. Well, let's see about finding those clues. Well, here we are looking for our first clue. Do you see it anywhere? It's over there. Where? I, I don't it's see it. It's over there on the wall. On the wall? On the wall? Oh, there it is. I see it. Cool. There it is. Clue number one. And it says, Jesus taught people that he is God. Well, who better to teach us than Jesus himself? Well, Jesus was walking in the temple when some people asked him this question. How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Have I not told you you do not believe me? The proof is in the work that I do in my Father's name. But you don't believe me because you are not of my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice, and I know them, and I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one can snatch them from my Father's hands. The Father has given them to me, and he is more powerful than anyone else. The Father and I are one. Wow! These people had this, and they picked up stones, and they actually tried to kill Jesus. They thought Jesus was lying. Jesus is God the Son, and he was telling the truth. They even said this to him. You, a mere man, claim to be God? Incredible. Oh, wait a minute. I hear... Our next clue is on the sidewalk in the hallway. I was told the second clue is in the hallway on the sidewalk. Where is it? I'm hey, trying I to find it. Oh, here it is. Clue two. What does it say? Jesus told that God makes the rules. Well, the religious leaders made their own rules. They had so many rules and traditions. They had rules about washing dishes, even rules about washing their hands a certain way before they ate. You know, these were their rules. They were not God's rules. So Jesus reminded them of the prophet Isaiah. You hypocrites! Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship is fake, for they teach man-made ideas as commands from God. For you ignore God's law and substitute for your own traditions. These people made up their own rules about God. They rejected the, his rules to follow their own. You know, we do the same thing today. We care nothing about what God says is good and right. We follow what's in our own heart. You know, when we do that, that's called sin. You know, sin is the things that we think or we say or we do against God when we lie or we cheat or we're selfish. 
And you know, sin, it separates us from God forever and ever. The scripture says in Romans 3.11, no one is righteous, no, not one. But you see, these people were following their own rules and they, they cared nothing about God's rules. But God's rules are important. Well, let's see about that last and final clue. Let's see if we can find it anywhere. Sit down for a second. Hey, you're sitting what? on it. What? You mean I'm sitting on it? I am sitting on it. Ah, clue number three. Let's see what it says. Jesus taught that he is the only way to God. You know, Jesus was sitting with his disciples over a meal, and he was telling them and teaching them all about heaven, about how they would one day be with him there. But Thomas, one of the followers, he didn't understand. So he asked Jesus this question. But Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had really known me, you would know who my Father is. From now on, you do know him and you have seen him. Jesus is the only way to God the Father. He is the only way for you and I to have a relationship with God. God loves us so much, but we are separated from him because of our sin. But God never stops loving us. The Bible tells us in John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. God loves us so much that he sent his perfect son, Jesus, from heaven to this earth. Jesus is all perfect. He is holy, but he was willing to take your punishment of sin. He was willing to die on the cross. After Jesus died, he was buried. But here is the good news. Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead. And because Jesus rose from the dead, you can have eternal life in God now and forever. So what were those three truths that we learned today? Jesus taught people that he is God. Jesus taught that God makes the rules. And then Jesus taught that he is the only way to God. Jesus taught with power and authority. He taught so many things. You can read some of those things in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. People were amazed at Jesus' teaching. He taught with such power and authority because he is God. He is God the Father. Jesus wants you to know him better. He made a way for you to know him. Not just to know about him, but really know him and have a relationship with him. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 9.24, But let him who boasts, boasts in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, just and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, declares the Lord. So he wants us to know him better. Can you say this with me? I, I can, can know God. God. Wow, you know, in the weeks to come, we're going to be learning more from Jesus about his power and his greatness and about how he can work in your life. You know, the greatest of all things that Jesus did is, did is when he went to the cross and gave his life for you. As it says in John 3.15, so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. Do you believe this? And you can tell God right now that you're sorry for your sins and that you trust in Jesus alone for your forgiveness. It's been fun learning with you today. Next week, we're going to see how Jesus has power over the wind, over the waves, and over your life. Until then, may God bless you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notification of new videos.